Hello there gamers. Are you suffering from lag, stutter, micro stutter, whatever you call it? If you are, I'm here to help you fix that annoying problem and boost your FPS tremendously. Do note that the Windows settings that we're gonna apply, works for other games too. The game that I'm covering in this video is Black Desert Online. If this is not the game that you're playing, feel free to skip this one. And head over to the next settings. So let's start at the in-game settings. Under performance settings, graphics and textures. Pause the video, and just copy all my settings here. This is currently the best settings for removing lag and micro stutters. Go to optimization. Turn all of them off, except for performance optimization. I'll show you a demonstration having it turned on, versus off. As you can see when I have it turned off, I'm lagging when I'm running into a group of people. Now let's try turning it on. Would you look at that? So much better. If you don't have that issue, then you're good. Sano all. Next, go to general settings. Alerts, and turn off others enhancement fail and enhancement success, as these settings can sometimes cause hiccups too. Scroll down and just copy my settings. That's pretty much it for the in-game settings. Now let's go into the NVIDIA settings. Go to manage 3D settings. By the way I have i5 6600K for the CPU, and GTX 1070 for the GPU. As you can see, I have a weak CPU. And the game that I'm playing, Black Desert Online, is CPU intensive. And in order to play Black Desert Online smoothly or any other modern games require 6 core CPU for the sweet spot, or more. But my CPU has 4 cores only. Don't worry. Because I managed to fix the lag even having a slow CPU. So the idea is to put more load on the GPU. Now the important setting here is the low latency mode. If you have a slow CPU like mine, you want to turn low latency mode off. Having this on makes my game lag or stutter a lot. So make sure to turn it off. If you have a high-end CPU, try having it on. Or ultra. And make sure vertical sync is off. Just pause the video and copy all my settings. Next go to configure surround frisks, then select your GPU. Go to set up G-Sync and make sure you have it disabled. If you don't have G-Sync option, that's fine. And that's pretty much it for the NVIDIA settings. Now let's go to your Windows services. Some settings there, can cause lag and stutters too. Now click on the start icon, then type services. This is the number one culprit of your lag and stutter in game. The one and only Windows update. But before you do this make sure that your Windows is up to date first. Press W and find Windows Update. Make 100% sure that you have it disabled. Because if it's running while you're gaming, your game will obviously lag. Next press D and find the Diagnostic Execution Service and the Diagnostic Policy Service. Then disable them both. Now these are the major settings that affects game performance. But there's a lot more settings that you might want to consider disabling. Just pause the video and copy the services that I disabled. And that's it for the services settings. Now let's move into the power option setting. Click the start icon and type, power. Then click the choose a power plan. Then make sure you have the high performance selected. Next click the change plan settings. And click the change advanced power settings. Now change this number to zero. Click apply. Then scroll down to processor power management. 
set the minimum processor state to 100%, and the maximum processor state to 100% too. Click OK and we're done for the power options. Now let's delete some temporary files. Right click on your start icon and select run. Now type %10% and hit enter. Now press Ctrl plus A on your keyboard. Right click, then press delete. Go to run again. Now type prefetch and hit enter. Click on continue, and delete all the files. Now close the window, and empty your recycle bin. And that's done. Now let's talk about the important things you should always do. First, update your windows then disable them when it's done. Second, always check if your graphics card is up to date. I know I didn't mention it before, but it's really important. Third, update your BIOS. Now let's go and update your graphics card. Just type NVIDIA drivers on your browser and click the first link. Now type your graphics card specs. After that, just click search, and download. Now let's go and update your internet driver. I will leave the link in the description for you to download. Now paste the link on your browser and hit enter. Now choose between 32 and 64 bit. Now click download. After downloading, just run the driver and you're done. Now let's change some settings on your ethernet connection. Press the start icon and select the device manager. Now click network adapters. And click your internet. Click properties. Go to power management and untick this box. Next, click advance. And disable energy efficient ethernet. Scroll down and disable ultra low power mode. Find the system idle power and disable it too. And that's pretty much it for the network settings. Now I'm gonna show you the final touch to make your lag and stutters go away completely. If you're using MSI Afterburner, click your Rivetuner statistics, and just limit your FPS to 143. No more explanation needed. This will work like magic. But, make 69% sure that you applied all the settings that I showed you for this to work. Just search how to download MSI Afterburner if you don't have one. I know a lot of you guys are lagging despite having a high-end PC. I tried fixing my lag for almost a year now. I remember the days when I'm spending more time fixing the lag than playing the game. I know it's super annoying, and finally I got it fixed now. If this video helped you, let me know in the comments. That is it for the video guys. Just make sure to apply all the settings. Thank you so much for your time and see you next time. Peace. Shrek, kid, food.